Need help? Question mark. Uh, I'm good. All right, this one's going to be about the combat rifle, which is going to be bloodied, and also the single action revolver. Um, I'm just doing a series focusing on the, each weapon that I have and running through it. Now, the main difference here is going to be the rifleman, because um, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with it. Um, being commando, it will fire a lot faster. It will be. It won't be more efficient, but it'll, the DPS will be higher. And the main thing about this gun, too, is that there is the fixer, which is a named... Uh, what is the word for it? The fixer is a combat rifle, um, but it has like a um, fourth hidden star, a legendary that makes it... Uh, you can sneak better, sneak faster. And this one just doesn't have that. However, the reason why I'm using this one, my fixer is using ultrasight rounds. This one's using regular 45s, which are pretty cheap. You can get them from Nuka World. I've mentioned that before. That's an easy way to get it. Um, it's bloodied, whereas it, the other one is two shot. It's just different. Um, what's different about this one is that I am a VATS critical build, but it has a plus 25% damage while aiming. So this is actually my daily. This is what I run with all the time. Um, cheap ammo like I mentioned and if I don't feel like uh, using my VATS criticals which often isn't necessary I can just aim down sights and uh, just spam that and the other gun that I'm going to be using is the this is the Gunther's pistol that you can get off of the Nuka World um, event except mine is bloodied so it's a little bit better bloodied for more damage 25% faster fire rate um, which is good, you know, 25% more DPS. However, it's not really a DPS weapon. You're going to be pretty much one-shotting. You know, like most things that are higher level, probably two shots, you know, if you're using VATS. I think the worst will be like three shots. For our level 100 Super Mutant, probably, it's like three shots to the head. But, um, shouldn't be that bad. It's a lot of fun to use, so, um... If I'm just feeling like running around using bats, I'll use this. I can always switch back to this one and just start spamming shots if I need to. Or, you know, vice versa. But, whereas the rifle will work without bats, this one will not work half as well without bats. Um, it is like a hand cannon. You, When they're running up on you and coming really quickly to your side, which they tend to do, they tend not to run straight up towards you. They'll tend to up towards you and to the side to where you have to turn, and then they'll try to hit you. So if you bats on them, it will just lock automatically, and you can just take your shot. Whereas if you're trying to free aim, especially with the field of view being as zoomed in as it is over here, it doesn't work quite as well. <clears throat> but yeah, this is usually what I run around with. I feel like um, Dirty Harry with this thing. Let's see, let's see how this works here. That's not a good shot, but... 249, level 75, charge for a goal. There you go, two shots. The reload too is going to be a problem, um, which is why I felt like going with the bloodied over the the Gunther's. Um, Gunther is like it has a faster reload, which is nice, but it always ends up taking more shots than it should. See, these ones are always like two shots, but you know like. 250, 300 damage, I would say. If you're in the lower level areas, you can just walk around using this all day. Ammo for it is super common. I have 3,044 rounds, like way too many. Just taking a nap, I guess. <clears throat> so it doesn't hurt to use this. If you could hit, that'd be great, but. There you go, I was hoping for more. That was a, that was a, a sh single shot, that was um, critical though. Oh, we got messed up pretty bad there. Let's 
see what my dailies are. I know I did a few of them already. I got on earlier because a friend was on. Complete an event. Well, well fed. I'm always well fed. Kill a gulper. Well, gulpers are going to be... This is probably our best shot right here. Should I walk over there for something to do? I mean, that could be a possibility. Um, yeah, I said I'd start walking over there. If I change my mind, I can always do that. If an event pops up, I'll go to it. Yeah, it's just pretty much just going to be a chill stream. So yeah, this is how I end up. I mean, like, exactly. I'm going to use up my AP running around. And so, uh, when you're not paying attention to your AP bar and then something runs up on you and you try to shoot it using bats, you won't have enough AP left to take them down and then you can get into trouble that way. And with this one, it's like, no problem. I just aim down sides, start shooting. And I feel like, especially when you're a vet's critical build, um, you end up relying on, on it uh, quite a lot. So, you end up just, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Robo-aim. You know what I what I mean? When people cheat on video games and then they, they use um, oh, auto aim, I guess basically, um, so they don't have to aim. You know, it will just aim for them. It will automatically lock onto their heads, and you just pull the trigger. I mean, that's exactly what that is, right? It just I don't know. It, it's kind of fun to just uh, have a little bit of a different playstyle once in a while, and um, I can still use bats in this gun, and I will use bats quite a bit with it. It might take an extra shot or two, but again, the uh, the ammo being so cheap, who cares? So since the fixer and this gun are so similar, um, if your question is like, which one should I run then? Is there any benefit to running the combat rifle over the fixer? I mean, my answer is going to be no. They're both so similar, and the fixer already has that, like I mentioned, the Hidgen trait, which is faster sneaking. I don't know if it also like makes you harder to detect while you're holding it, or it just uh, speeds up <clears throat> the, the sneak animation or whatever when you're walking, but... <clears throat> yeah, there's really no... I mean, like, even if you don't want it to be um, a silence gun to fixer, you know, like you're your sneaky build. Like, you can take the silencer off of it too. It really doesn't matter. I'm taking the reds. Oh, hey. That's a good target. Is it two of them? That's two good targets. Uh, three shots, that guy was seeing. This guy's just waiting. There you go, three shots, not too bad. Let's see how the uh, rifle does here. And I'm just gonna aim too. So what, eight shots? Yeah, pretty, pretty chill setup. Both of these guns are pretty fun to use, I feel like. Would I recommend the, uh, so I wouldn't, I guess I wouldn't recommend a combat um, rifle. <clears throat> Unless you already have a fixer, the fixer is, you know, like, its own special thing and you don't mind trying a different set of legendaries on it, which is pretty much exactly what I did. Then yeah, go for it. The single action, I mean, um, if you can get Gunther's which most people, you know, you should you should have ran across it by now, I'd imagine. If you're new, then go ahead and try it. If it's your thing, cool. If not, then... I don't think mine is that much better, even with the 25% faster fire rate. It's just... It is what it is. The reload is what's going to kill you. And Gunther's is fun because you shoot off the bullets real quick and then you get the fast reload. It's just, you know, it's a fun gun. It's one of those guns where... 
It's not all about the DPS all the time. Sure, I'll take that, take that, take that. Thank you. It's been here for a while. I do need these too. I've ran out. I always use one for um, when I go shopping. Speaking of which, I'm now overweight. Oh, I picked up some meat. That's my problem. Now I'm wondering if he has uh, somewhere to cook. hearing like a mine about to go off and be shooting. And there you go, there's your problem. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I get it. It's the, um, the turret's about to go off. I need to take care of my overweight status. Oh, no, I did it again. What a weird sound. Hmm. Hopefully that goes away. Does it last the whole stream? Yeah, let's see. Um, cooking station. I should probably break down my junk too. Pretty sure there's a place to cook around here. There it is. I think the Yao Gai webs give you better, is it melee and strength or is it just carry weight? It's neither. Okay, cool. Let's just go ahead and eat one and get rid get our weight down a little bit. No Brahmin milk to get our rats down. <clears throat> I'd like to run just a little bit more health, just to play it safe, but... That is another nice thing about like free aiming too, is um, you don't have to worry about the distance, you know, like um, Vets isn't accurate, not like all distances, but if you put the dot on the target, it's pretty much going to hit him. I think that's not too bad. But see, like there, I jumped up because I was holding the triangle button to get the, uh, the critical and then um, 
I ended up losing track of the target. I wouldn't have lost track of the target if I was just aiming, so. There's that guy pretty far away. He disappeared. Let's do this. Yeah, really no complaints about the setup. I think, um, I mean, a single action revolver definitely has its downsides, but you know, like the reload and how many rounds it holds. But, um, and a combat rifle could be better, like, it could be a fixer. I could just have two fixers, I guess, but it's just nice having one of each. That could be a good test for the uh, single action too. I bet you I'll take four and take it down. Three, four, I was wrong. Still, guys are pretty tough, they're pretty tanky. Two officers side by side, which is different. I don't remember ever seeing that to be honest. We just saw one further down the road there. I do have the, what is it, the kill a, a snatty gaster with the cold shoulder. Cool. Yeah. Um, I may as well do that. I got everything, um, I got all the rewards. So that would just be extra. Like, I'm thinking go kill one down at the flooded train station and then I can hang up the cold shoulder. It's taking up weight in my inventory right now. I'm not specced to use a, a shotgun anyway, so... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> None of my business. Moss Town, on the other hand, that is the one with all of the um, super mutants, right? Could go pay them a visit. I think I mentioned the um, the revolver taking three shots for a level 100 super mutant. I think that sounds about right. We can test that out. I thought it said legendary. I don't think it is. So. Let's 
Now something like that definitely I would keep the revol I would keep the uh, rifle out. I would not take out the revolver for that thing. That'd just be a nightmare. It is legendary. Well, Say you should have been dead. Huge fan of flying creatures with um, Bethesda games. It's just not fun to play against. Oh, this is gonna take forever. I do have poison resist on my armor, so that's probably helping. I wonder if he can't land from by trees. It's probably true. I guess I'll do this when I'm waiting. Oh, oh my town is these guys. Okay, never mind. What was I thinking of? I was thinking of something else. With the super mutants. We land, please. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. You can touch grass. Poison does end up taking its toll on you as a buddy character. I died to it actually last episode, um, doing the Scorch Beast thing. Serendipity is putting in the good work though. I did take some drugs too, which helps. Psychotap. Did not even see you there. About time. These things are really annoying to fight if you are in your camp. Um. Furious missile launcher? That's wow, that's terrible. That's like what, like plus five percent extra damage um, per hit? And the problem with that, I mean, I mean, it's it's very very slow to fire, and you would have to put like four or five missiles onto one single target for it to do anything. I'm just not interested. I could sell for script too, but um, it is pretty heavy. I also I have like pretty much every weapon that I want right now, so I don't know what I would spend the script on. I could possibly do like another power armor or something, but... Do I have any Muffman omelets? Because that should highlight, I probably don't know.
Uh, this is the edge of the um, the mire here, so hopefully we're getting close. Now the people have come back to this area. They'll all want to be setting up places like Foundation. Um. So that's three four twenties that hit him that didn't count. Hmm. Hi. All right. You know, for how bad um, bug Thesda can be with the games, I haven't ran into too many uh, glitches. There could all be a glitch like that, which, I mean, it can be annoying when they're trying to fight you and you should have killed them and it was your last shot and they're still coming at you because the hit didn't register. But, I mean, it is what it is. Um, the freezing when getting into power armor is probably the worst one of the bunch. see this here. Okay, let's fall back on our revolver and see how that works as a backup weapon here. And I'll aim down sights to save on AP. There's two of them. Was it legendary? Like okay, they see me. was another one, right? I do see my health. I'm just waiting for the reload. Like I said earlier, normally I would have a little bit more health going for me here, but that worked out okay. Um, it would have been better if I just didn't switch at all, I think. Tell you what, I'm going to take some right away. Do, 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 do. do that so you guys aren't waiting forever. I was hoping I would take radiation damage. Okay, well, we'll just walk through some water, take uh, radiation damage. Now, the reds is to stop me from going too high with my health. So, notice um, my health still isn't that high, right? Um, I had it because I haven't healed yet, so I'm still getting all the benefits of blood aid, even though the uh, radiation is not there. The radiation is not what determines your annealing or bloody status, it's your health. Okay, so do I need to do anything special for these gulpers or just kill them, right? Yeah, just kill them. There's another one to the left of it too. I don't want to... This is not a good position to be in. They're uphill from me.
Okay. This guy's kind of frozen too. There you go, there's some radiation. Complete an event while well fed. Kill a snotty gaster. <clears throat> I could possibly find a snotty gaster running through here too. Yeah, it's, it's definitely nice to be able to just run around freely and not worry about my AP bar and the VATS usage. If, um, if you've been playing this game for a while, you really don't want to just be, like, walking everywhere you go. I tend to try to do that because um, stuff tends to pop in really bad when you do. Like, stuff doesn't load. Oh, here's some super mutants. But uh, when you just want to get somewhere, you just want to be able to run. One hit, come on, level 60. Yeah, not too shabby. When this gun works, it really works. This should heal me too, right here. There you go. Maybe I should talk to them. I don't. I mean, there's no um, reputation points Have for the admit, brotherhoods. Or Atlas is a lot more organized with Night Shin in charge. Yeah, it is. I took the uh, Night Shin side of things. My previous one, I did um, whatever her name is. Spoilers, I guess I should say. <laughs> Game has been up for five years, so. Um, yeah. Let's see if you don't. I mean, this is a pretty long distance away, but this is without bats. Against an armored target, too. I'll keep that in mind, but... 109, I mean, not terrible. 166, 166. Giving up proboscis. That's what I was seeing. I thought there was another one here. I just didn't count on it being inside the earth like that. We got the power station here, the fusion core generator. What is this? Irrational fear. A ton of love is going on, it's almost over. We could do that. Make sure I take some uh, popcorn so that my health is filled. My health, so that my. Uh, Hunger's filled, and then that way I'll get the um, do an event while fully fed, whatever. So beautiful. If I had 
Easiest to get so far, right? Or is it not done yet? It's not quite done yet. There we go. Whatever, okay. I'll be turning that in, but I'm gonna have to walk. Usually from here, you are going to have a load screen anyway, so I just fast travel to the outside, but we'll huff it. I feel like maybe since we fixed the ride, we should be able to like ride the ride. Does that make sense? I mean, when they built this theme park and they built all of the um, attractions, I mean, do none of them work? Because the theme park wasn't here before they arrived and they were a traveling theme park or whatever, amusement park. I don't know, it'd be fun to have some um, some stupid rides to go through. Something you do. I'll drink some, um, what is it, spoiled Brahmin milk here. That's a good amount. See the stars here now. Left tap, very, very good. I'm a rifleman. I can't switch it to non-auto, so I can't use it. What makes it good is the full auto anyway. That's what was weighing me down, 15 pounds. Apart from that, I'm still kind of heavy. In case you don't know, people were putting like extra stuff in here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, thanks, buff up. Mm, sure, why not? Sure, why not? I was complaining about being heavy. Oh, that's too bad. I'll drop it then. Is he gonna tell me I can't drop it? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. I just picked up the Nika Quantum Candy for Charisma, so let's see what Welcome I can sell here. The world on tour. Would you like a balloon? Cherry, uh, cherry Kota is good for healing. 
eight. I need to make sure I don't have like a thousand stems. I don't, but these are good money. I don't use them. Maybe sell a couple. Right away, I don't need that much. Okay, that's a few pounds off. Let's go ahead and kill a Stenegaster with the uh, cold shoulder. I have my camp here. I was thinking about bringing it up, but I'm just going to go hang out my cold shoulder in the other camp anyway. So I don't feel like loading the camp, fast traveling there, running to where I'm going, and then loading up the other camp, and then doing that. Still don't know where I'm at, huh? Oh, whoops, I'm using this one. That works. Can you register my hits, please? None of those registered. Again, go. Hello? Hello? Like. I think when he was standing above me, the uh, chance to hit was zero, but I'm still just frustrated over it not registering to begin with. We were just talking about that, too. Okay, at least I have enough shotgun shells for these guys here. Do I just need one? Yeah. Oh, I just got my rads all set up. Now I'm taking more. This, these guys are pretty tough. I know there's one in there, I just don't see him. I wonder if this is the server or something else. These creatures are acting kind of weird. So, okay, 85. Let's go into bats. This is going to be a critical, though. 263. Someone do some math here. That's like, what, about three times? Is that fair? Not too shabby. Okay, so 
Hit sit in red shirt last time, and now these guys are just standing here, not reacting to my shots either. So, I mean, <laughs> the bugginess can work either way for you, I guess. What I'm trying to say here. I say we go hang up this uh, cold shoulder. It will look good over the fireplace. This is why running everywhere is a problem. Stuff just doesn't spawn in, right? And this is from fast traveling, not running, but you get the same issue. You'll end up getting hit by invisible creatures you can't see. It's weird. Well, I have a little bit of extra carry weight. It's a good thing to have around. I don't think rack sags are that hard to find usually, but you know, it's one of those things when you need it, it's never around. I don't think I'm going to do the daily op. I was doing it at first, but I think we got a pretty good feel for 
how it's going. Oh no, I failed. Mononga Power Plant has experienced an unexpected failure. We apologize for the inconvenience. Rest assured that our maintenance crews are working hard to minimize the outage. Wow, that's pretty far away. Based on current projections, I don't have a drinking problem, guys. Never mind that stein and beer next to it. <laughs> let them let live. Unless they don't let live. Don't you have a bar to go to? Alright, well, thanks for tuning in to this episode. I think, um... I don't know. I do like these two weapons. They're pretty good. I recommend them. Um, if you can get something similar. You know, you get a good feel for the legendaries and what they do. Um, the single action is always fun. It might not be, like, the best, like, tactically speaking, but, it, you know, it's still fun to play around with. Hmm, maybe we should decide on what to do next. I always do that usually at the end of uh, the streams. Listen to that later. Hmm, we did the goes. We did the lever action. You know what I want to do is this guy here. The prime handmade. Because it's prime, the uh, bullets, the magazine went down from 20 to 10, which is pretty interesting. Um, and ironically enough, because it is 10 and you run out of bullets, they come up close, you gotta bash them. Well, bashing damage is increased by 50% on this one. Plus you're bloodied with the extra strength. It's it's not that bad. It does a little bit of damage, you know. 90% reduced weight, which I think they're going to fix next patch so that the attachments are also reduced weight, so this will be nice. And, uh, of course, you know, bloodied. So bloody ultra sight, lots of rounds for it. We'll give that a shot. See how it could, see how it does. And um, I don't want to do the black powder rifle with another gun that only holds ten. So I've done that. I've done that. I've done the ten mil. Uh oh. We're running out of guns, guys. Um. We could do the pipe rifle. Uh, we started off with the uh, with the pipe rifles here, the pipe revolver and the uh, the bolt rifle. However, this one is bloodied, plus the fifty percent vats criticals. So that could be fun. Do this one. It's not the hardest hitting gun, but if I need to hit hard, you know, I can always go with the. Um, With the handmade. I'm debating if I should put um, a different kind of receiver on that. It's got the calibrated right now. I'm sure it's fine. But all right, yeah. So I think we're gonna do this guy here with 15 shots, and then Bars open, no, not gents. that. We're gonna That's do right here. the bloodied handmade. This guy here with 10 rounds. Alright, thanks for tuning in. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys later.